Hello and welcome to the Styla Pattern Sew Along. Today we will be sewing the Asbury bodysuit. Place the main bodice front and lining bodice front right sides together, aligning the arm side and the neck opening. Sew to attach across the neck opening using a 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter seam allowance and a stretch stitch or serger. Repeat with the back main and lining pieces. Flip the bodice pieces right side out. On the front bodice piece, sew across the neck opening with a straight stitch at a 1 quarters inch or 0.6 centimeter seam allowance. This will create a casing for the elastic. Repeat with the back bodice piece. Locate the 1 quarter inch or 0.6 centimeter neck elastic and trim 2 inches or 5 centimeters from one end. It should now be 2 inches or 5 centimeters shorter than the neck opening. Using a safety pin or bodkin, Thread the elastic through the casing. When the other end of the elastic reaches the elastic casing opening, sew the raw edge on the elastic down. Continue threading the elastic through the casing until it reaches the opposite end of the neck opening. Sew the raw end of the elastic down. Repeat previous steps with the back bodice piece. Place the front bodice on top of the back bodice, right sides together. With the three top layers in place, separate the back bodice main. Fold the back bodice lining over the three layers to meet the front bodice lining. Align all four layers. Pin or clip to hold in place. The front and back bodice lining are right sides together, with both main layers below. Make sure the underarm seams are aligned perfectly. Sew to attach with a 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter seam allowance using a stretch stitch or serger. Turn the bodice right side out. Lay one sleeve wrong side up, finishing the top and bottom raw edges of the sleeve. Fold the top raw edge of the sleeve 5 8 inch or 1.6 centimeters wrong sides together and press. Starting at one side, sew a straight line across the top of the sleeve 1 8 7 inch or 0.3 centimeters away from the finished edge until the other end is reached. This will create a half inch or 1.3 centimeter casing for the elastic. Locate the half inch or 1.3 centimeter top sleeve elastic. Using a safety pin or bodkin, thread the elastic through the casing. When the other end of the elastic reaches the elastic casing opening, sew the raw edges of the elastic down. Continue threading the elastic through the casing until it reaches the opposite end of the sleeve opening. Sew the raw end of the elastic down. The elastic should be sewn at both ends. 
Repeat the same steps from the bottom of the sleeve using the half inch or 1.3 centimeter bottom sleeve elastic. Repeat the same steps for the remaining sleeve. Fold sleeves right sides together and using a stretch stitch or serger, sew to attach using a 3 8 inch or 1 cm seam allowance. Turn the sleeve right side out. With the bodysuit right side out, align the underarm seam of the sleeve and the underarm seam of the bodice. Pin or clip in place. Align the end of the front sleeve with the end of the front shoulder opening. Pin or clip in place. Repeat for the back portion of the sleeve. Sew to attach the sleeve to the bodice using a stretch stitch or serger and a 3 8 inch or 1 cm seam allowance. Press the seam allowance toward the sleeve. Tack down the sleeve seam allowance by stitching in the ditch. Repeat with the remaining sleeve. Locate the leg band pieces. Fold leg bands in half, wrong sides together. Press. Align the raw short end of one leg band with the raw edge of the bodysuit front snap placket, right sides together. Align the other raw short end of the same leg band with the raw edge of the bodysuit back snap placket, right sides together. Pin or clip in place. Continue pinning or clipping the leg band to the bodysuit while stretching it as necessary. Note that the side seam of the bodysuit is not the midpoint. Repeat with the remaining band on the opposite side. Sew to attach using a stretch stitch or serger and a 3 8 inch or 1 cm seam allowance. Press the seam allowance toward the back bodice. On the front bodice, apply a 3 quarters inch or 2 centimeter wide strip of interfacing to the wrong side of the bottom crotch edge. For the back bodice, apply a 3 quarters inch or 2 centimeters wide strip of interfacing to the wrong side 3 quarters inch or 2 centimeters away 
from the bottom crotch edge. On the right side of the front bodice, attach snap tape or snaps over top the interfaced area to create a snap placket. On the right side of the back bodice, measure 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters away from the raw edge and attach snap tape or snaps over top the interfaced area. Fold the front and back snap placket 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters over onto itself, wrong sides together. The front bodice snaps will be on the inside, while the back bodice snaps will be on the outside. Top stitch across the front and back snap plackets to secure in place. You're now finished. Thank you for joining us for Styla's Asbury Sew Along, and we hope to see you next time.